So I was always kind of interested in how things work, taking things apart and understanding them, but I was also a keen sailor. When I found that you could do both of those at the same time and get an engineering degree that's focused around maritime operations and ship performance and sailing vessels, then I was delighted. My original background was actually in land-based architecture, so buildings. I've become really interested in how we can bring the human into our ship systems and make things a little bit more intuitive. Probably like most people, I originally wanted to design yachts and sailing boats. I knew I was interested in problem solving and I was passionate about the ocean. So the combination of those two things drew me to, to ship science. It's almost like you have this opportunity to combine your hobby with your, your role. So I looked at a range of universities and um, Southampton really stood out. The University of Southampton's been teaching ship science um, as a degree course for over 50 years. When students are doing their projects, they're learning about real-world problems that are raw, they don't come pre-prepared. To address those problems, they'll be using state-of-the-art research facilities. The towing tank and all the labs in Boulderwood, it's just such a cool campus. We're in the towing tank right now and I don't think many other universities have that. So we have a new facility and this allows us to tow ships and structures through the water and measure the forces that act on the vessels and understand how they will operate in a real environment. We can generate waves in that environment and understand the sea keeping and the motions of vessels. So when we talk about facilities, we're talking about a huge range of things that support someone's ideas. High performance computational facilities so that you can run simulations and programs. We also have a lot of collaborations with local industry uh, research institutes and we'll have students who join us on expeditions out at sea. And the reason that our students have access to those things is because our teaching is research led. There's that real collaborative atmosphere. So if you're asking the right questions and you want to find out more, there's always someone to speak to. I think the links that you've got between staff and people in industry is, is really strong. My lecturers at the time, they obviously have contacts with, with senior people in, in, say, the company that I work for and uh, in other companies. A key point is that the maritime sector is heavily intertwined with society. So when we see the requirements of society change, the ships that support that society also need to change. Companies and ship operators are being forced to embrace new technology in a way that they've never had to before. It's a very exciting time in terms of development. At the moment we're building an international mall, a sustainable international mall. I look at um, ship safety and human factors. An opportunity came up out of the blue actually, a rebuild of a, a classic super yacht. So I, I basically, I didn't turn that down. <laughs> the maritime sector is very diverse. So whatever your interests or your skill set, there'll be some problems to solve that are centered around those. If you look at what our students have gone on to achieve, some have gone on to design racing yachts, others have gone into the leisure industry, others have gone into policy and uh, regulation to make our entire industry cleaner and safer. Others have gone on to start up new companies. And if you don't know what your core interests are or your skill sets are, the university program is designed to help you find those things and help you develop those things. Your, your eyes, you just naturally become aware of, of the wider sort of engineering, naval architecture world. And every day is a learning day. I'm definitely still learning 12 years into my career. And I think that's one of the, the best things about the career. <laughs>